Last video, I tried making jetpack joyride ends. That was interesting. Everything else works well, but the lasers tend to hit the character even though the lasers are not long enough. There we go. Let's try now. Okay, I'm not even going to waste your time. It's still messed up. But I don't think ChatGPT is cooked just yet. I want to see if ChatGPT can make one of the most famous games of all time, Super Mario Bros. Well, actually, to defend myself from Nintendo, we're making Super Mustache Bros. Yeah. Please Nintendo don't come after me. Now I'm going to be using the exact same rules from last video. There will be a max of 10 prompts and there is zero leeway, meaning that I have to make every prompt count. I also have to generate each sprite for the game using Copilot. So without further ado, let's begin. Now first, let's start with the sprites. I think I'm going to do Mario, a Goomba, a platform, a coin, and the regular background. First, let's start with Mario create a sprite of mario okay there we go oh wait not even copilot wants to make it because of nintendo okay let me try to tell it to not make it one to one two seconds later wait it is still scared okay let's just go with its suggestion a steampunk plumber oh my god okay g give me a second five hours later okay after literally 10 minutes i finally got something usable i had to literally use the prompt create an image of a 8-bit game character copilot was so against making a character that even resembled a plumber so this is what i have next let's work on the goomba but knowing how serious copilot is about not messing with nintendo i'll just ask it to make a 8-bit enemy that is brown you know what? That is also just fine. We are already in dangerous territory, so I'll take anything I can get. Now I'm going to generate all of the images, but not on video because this is definitely going to take some time. Okay, now I have every single sprite for the game and now it's time to make super mustache bros. I have the platforms, the coins, the Goomba, Mario, and the background. So I guess it's time to put it all together. I want to make the first prompt massive so that I can use the later ones for fixing things. The first prompt is make a 2D side scroller platformer that contains coins, platforms, a background, enemies, and the main character. Each sprite should have a place in the code for an image link. Each coin should increase my points. Jumping on an enemy's head should also give me a set amount of points. And the world should be a loop of the background with randomly generated platform sprites. The enemies should always be moving in to the left. This should be able to run in your sandbox. Okay, this is a pretty hefty prompt, but I think this may be enough to make a completely playable game from just a few prompts. We may not even need 10. Okay, first off, I added the image links and everything went well until I realized that ChatGPT created Python code, not HTML, meaning that the game can't be ran within ChatGPT. It will have to be moved elsewhere. So since I've already used one of my prompts and added the image links, I'm just going to run the game locally. But let me know if you guys would prefer it to be ran within ChatGPT. Now, sadly, I will need to use another prompt to change the code so that instead of image links, it just finds the actual images on my PC. So I'll be back. Okay, now I'm back and all code is set up properly. Now let's test how this looks. Um, that is something. First off, the game lasted literally two seconds. The sprites are far too big and the screen was way too small. So let's add that to the next prompt. Prompt three, scale the sprites correctly, make it so that you control the character using arrows with the up arrow being jump and make the screen size 1920 by 1080. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it's definitely a lot better, but it seems there are still some issues and the game ends really fast. I literally spend three seconds playing the game. It feels like the colliders of the enemies are slightly too big and the ground is also not correct, but I have an idea. Prompt four, make the screen size the same as the background, 1536 by 1024, and then make sure that the player and other objects are on the ground, which starts a bit higher than the bottom of the page. Also, the monster sprite is 500 by 500, so make the collider be about 300 by 300. Same thing for the coins and character. Okay, let's try. And it's still bad. Not as bad as last time, but it is still pretty bad. The biggest issue is still the size of the sprites. I forgot to add to fix the actual size of the sprites, but the colliders are still massive. 
I need to tell ChatGPT to make the colliders of the character, monster, and coin smaller than the actual image size. Prompt 5. Make the character, coin, and monster sprites a lot smaller to fit the screen better. Move them up a little more and also make the colliders of these sprites smaller than the actual image size. Okay, let's try. Okay, it lasted a lot longer this time, but still just closes the game as soon as I lose. But it looks a lot better. The sprites are finally the correct size, they just need to be moved so that they are on top of the ground. Also, I'm going to ask it to add replaying instead of just closing the game. Also, it seems that the enemies just go away after some time, and the platforms follow the camera, so I'll ask it to fix that also. Prompt 6. This is a lot better. Make the enemy and character colliders even smaller than their image size. Move the characters even higher and make the game replayable after death if I click space. Also, make it so that there are less platforms above and they don't follow the camera. The platforms should have colliders and enemies should respawn regularly. Let's try this. Okay, this is getting better and better. The colliders are a lot better and the game doesn't just close. Now we just need to move the world down, but I'll adjust the actual code for this and add that to the next prompt so it keeps it. I also need to tell JetGPT to level the monster and player and make the platforms keep moving left with everything else. Prompt 7. Make the ground level 290, make the monsters be on the same level as the player and make it so that the sky platforms are constantly moving left like the monsters. Also the coin image is named coin.png not coin. Okay, we are getting close. And it broke. Love of God! Not sure how. I literally tested the code and somehow I managed to mess it right back up. Now the monsters are literally floating in the air. So for prompt 8, go back to this code and move the monsters so that they are on the same ground level as the players. I also added the code from prompt 6 that worked well. Okay, now it's just the exact same as prompt 6. It's literally no different. Also, the platforms are too high and simply don't move out of the screen. So I think I know what prompt 9 needs. Prompt 9. Make the platforms not be static, they should move out of the screen to the left and give the platform sprites colliders so that the player can jump on them. The monsters are also still floating. And it's not bad, but also not good. The coins are not moving with the platforms, the monsters are still not leveled, and I also forgot to ask it to move the platforms down. But this is prompt 10, so let's make prompt 10 perfect. Hopefully I can fix the game using just this last prompt. Prompt 10. Move the monsters down about 3 inches, make the coins follow the moving platforms, move the platforms lower down, and also add some coins on the ground. Okay, this is the final prompt. This may not be as in depth as it can be, but to be honest, this is starting to look like a lost cause. So let's just try it. And it's still bad. I'm not sure what it doesn't understand about things need to constantly be moving left. The coins on the ground were just static, the monsters didn't move at all, and the platform still had pretty iffy colliders, but the game works? There we go, we have finally created Super Mustache Bros. No Nintendo, I will not be selling this game, so you can leave me and my family alone. Just like the last video when I tried making Jetpack Joyride, which I would actually say did better, ChatGPT just has quirks. You can give it as many prompts as you want and it still won't listen. Again, do not try to make games using ChatGPT because as you can see here, this seems to be harder and waste more time than if you just created this in Unity. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.